Hi there, this is a quick tip for how to clone a UI transform. So let's say I want to set up a list of guests. Here's the transform that I want to clone. There's a name and a bar. One way you could do it is obviously by making this into a prefab. However, that would add another file into your project list, which would be unnecessary given that this is really only used in this particular window. So having multiple prefabs related to multiple different windows could become quite confusing. So what I normally do is create a transform in the editor, just like this, and then I clone it through code. So in the code, I first grab a reference to the template. Then I set the game object set active to false in order to be hidden. And then whenever I need it, I instantiate it. And I set the newly created set active back to true. Then I can set the position and all the fields that I want. So I can put this in a loop in order to make multiple. And just like that, there's the template being instantiated multiple times in order to fill up our list. So now let's say I want to add something else to each entry. All I need to do is modify the template. And just like that, I add an icon. And now in the code, when I instantiate, now I can change that icon for whatever I want. And just like that, by modifying the template, I have modified what gets created and I now have another field that I can easily use. So another usage would be, for example, for buttons. So in here I have the first button and I want to add a couple more. And here we can copy this code into its own function. So here I have a nice helper function in order to help me clone and position a transform. I use it to fill up a list and in here I use it to duplicate the buttons. So I only create one button in the editor and then I duplicate them in the code and do whatever I want with them. So let's see. And yep, there it is. All my guest list all following the same template and the same thing for the buttons. I only defined one in the editor and then I created the other two dynamically. And that's it. Hope you found this tip useful. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.